Hi, I have here integration part one. I'll be taking different examples and I'll label them accordingly. So I have here integral of cos 2x dx and then integral of cos 3x plus 2 dx. When we see something like this, how do we go about them? I have done a video under introduction to integration. If this is your first time, kindly subscribe to this channel. If you have not too, kindly subscribe to this channel for more updates. So let's see the first one. The first thing you do when you have a function of this form is to consider whatever you have here, 2x, whatever you have there, represent it with a variable. So let's use the variable u. So you say that let u be equal to 2x only the 2x and then you differentiate the 2x so we are differentiating u with respect to 2x so you say that remember we are doing integration but we are applying differentiation at the same time if you don't know differentiation go to my channel search for different introduction to differentiation work other examples are there and then you will equip yourself with that so when i differentiate this i'm having du ds which is derivative of u with respect to x is going to give me 2 now um, i need to make dx the subject because when you look at the function there is a dx term here so dx is going to give me 1 out of 2 du so why did i get that so you, let me explain for you to understand if i have du dx giving me 2 then when i cross multiply here I am getting du is giving me 2 times dx so this is what we are having don't forget this is over 1 so when I cross multiply here I'm getting du equal to 2 times dx I need to make ds the subject so I'll divide here by 2 I'll divide here by 2 this will take care of this I have dx giving me du over 2 which is the same as 1 out of 2 du this is over 1 so when i multiply this by this i'll get this when i multiply 1 by du i'll get back this so this is why i said when you make ds the subject you are getting 1 out of 2 du so now you rewrite the function in terms of the variable u so to do that you have integral of course 2x dx should be equal to integral of course now you said that 2x should be equal to u so cos u times dx and dx is 1 over 2 du so you have 1 over 2 du now when you get here this is multiplying the whole function you always factorize the 1 over 2 outside the integral sign so this is going to give you 1 out of 2 integral of cos u times du now when you integrate cos the result is sine remember when you integrate the trick function cos your result is sine so this is giving us 1 out of 2 multiplying the integral of this is going to give me sine u plus k now this du will go away after you integrate the function so the result is giving us 1 out of 2 times sine u plus k but in the beginning you said that let u be equal to 2x so you can substitute it back by saying 1 out of 2 sine then you have 2x plus k and this is the same as the integral of cos 2x dx and this is your final answer so this is our second example we will represent everything in the bracket by the variable u. So we say that u be equal to 3x plus 2. You differentiate this. So du dx is going to give us. Now when you differentiate a constant, the result is 0. So this is 0. And when you differentiate 3x, the result is what? 3. Now you make dx the subject because you have dx here. So therefore dx is giving us 1 out of 3 times du so now you rewrite the function in terms of the variable u so you have integral of course 3 x plus 2 dx is going to give us now we are having integral of course you said that let 3 x plus 2 be equal to u so of course u 
and then you said that let the x be equal to 1 over our 3 s du so 1 out of 3 du let me put it that way so now you rewrite this you factorize the 1 out of 3 outside you have 1 out of 3 integral of course u times du so i'm getting 1 out of 3 sine u plus the constant of integration called k so but you said that in the beginning let u be equal to 3x plus 2 so you substitute it back there and i am getting 1 out of 3 sine 3x plus 2 plus k and this is the integral cos 3x plus 2 dx and this is your final result now I am about to teach you another method which is called the shortcut me I call it the shortcut method now listen very carefully if you want to apply the shortcut method look at this function the first thing you need to do is to differentiate this function when you differentiate 2x the result is 2 so all you need to do is 1 over the 2 the differential of what you have here which is this you multiply the result by what is the integral of course the integral of course is sine so times sine the same 2x then plus k and this is your result also for the second example first differentiate what is inside the bracket when you differentiate 2 you get 0 differentiate 3x you get 3 so 1 over the differential of the bracket which is what 3 times sine into bracket the same 3x plus 2 you hold on plus k and that is the result well, when we compare this with this we are getting the same result this is what i call the shortcut method this is there you can look at the function and you integrate it in mind and you will know the result you get but when a question is given to you like this to integrate you don't need to use the shortcut method you just don't need to write the answer you need to prove the steps how did you get it but if you are working a certain question and you come across something like this you don't need to prove it you don't need to go through all the long steps to get the answer you just look at it and you integrate it and you are gone so this is the end of this video if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do see you in the next video